You mentioned that the primary purpose of a contact lens for self-quantification would be to analyze fluids in the eyes versus tears. So so we have other mm-hmm. fluids coming out of our eyes aside from tears that we can also analyze? Yes, you know, so, so the tears are coming out of, uh, let's say, the, 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 the tear hole that we have, you know, just uh, outside the eye. However, the fluids that are in the eye, you know, they have a different chemical co- composition, different compounds are in there. What can we analyze? What can we not analyze? I don't think we need to look at this from an exclusive perspective. And it's not about whether do we extract a tear or do we put a contact lens. But I would say it's more about how do we put our hands on technology that we can use in our everyday life uh, with our athletes or with our stakeholders that can extract the information that we're after in the seamless and easiest way possible and inform everyone about um, what's, what's the best decision that they have to make. Gotcha. One of the things that appears on your bio is that you delve quite a bit into artificial intelligence. Have you uh, come across the use of AI for something like enhancing sports performance or something that an Olympic athlete might use? So, you know what? I, I do have sort of um, sort of over there a philosoph- philosophical stand, if you want, around technology, because many people refer to technology as enhancing performance. I don't necessarily agree with that. I see technology more as an aid that would enhance decision making. No, and and the, the real question that I believe everyone should be focusing on is not how can technology enhance performance, but rather how can technology inform all of the stakeholders, athletes, coaches, high performance directors, physical mm-hmm. therapists, nutritionists, physiologists, you, you name it, everyone working around the athlete to make the most informed decision. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's kind of what I meant, right? So yeah, indirectly improving sports performance by supplying a quantified intelligence about an athlete's activity so that programming could be altered to, to enhance that, that athlete's uh, response to training, I guess is, I I think we're on the same page basically, you know, in in terms of of how these things would be used, but artificial intelligence, um, how would that be used? For example, for, for a coach or, or a scout or anyone else to gather data about a player's activity? 